Every day, telescopes around the world, both professional and backyarders like me and maybe you, discover new objects in the sky that need follow-up observations to work out their orbits, their distance, and whether we need to get Bruce Willis on the phone to help send the world's finest nuclear weapons to deflect an asteroid heading towards planet Earth. I couldn't make sense of the raw data the International Astronomical Union shares in real time every day for us to check, so to celebrate Asteroid Day on June 30th, I built a model of the Earth and the Celestial Sphere, so you can check out if there's one above you right now. How can you help defend planet Earth from its next mass extinction event? My name is Dylan O'Donnell, and you're watching Star Stuff. So what am I looking at? Behold, our planet Earth. The dots you see hovering above us are not aliens. I mean, they could be. I'm not saying they're aliens, but if aliens were to arrive, they'd show up on here first as newly discovered points of light that weren't there yesterday. They always turn out to be asteroids or comets though, like 99.9% .9 of the time. That other time it was a muamua. Yes, 100%. You might even die because of one of these dots. It's happened before. First, we need to work out if one of these things is heading towards us. And the best way to do that is to point your telescope at one, take some photos, solve them astrometrically, using Astrometrica or similar software like PRISM, and send your text data file report to the International Astronomical Union by the NPC website reporting thing then really smart people will confirm whether it's coming towards us and if we're going to die. And then what? Well, then we die. Seriously, we can't even stop a kid with a credit card from mass destruction. Good luck with that. If you'd like to check out what's new, like literally brand new in space right this second, go to www.byronbayobservatory.com.au forward slash neo and add your GPS coordinates to see where these things are in relation to you. You can try to photograph them to add follow-up observations, or maybe just try to work out the bias in the data. Judging by the window these objects appear in, I think it relates to the observatory where they were found from and the available darkness and time allocation set for near-Earth object detection. Happy Asteroid Day, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Star Stuff. And remember, everything is meaningless and we're all going to die.